Matthew bought a bunch of puzzle books for five dollars each. Again, he bought a bunch. He spent thirty-five dollars. Okay, so how many books did you buy, Matthew? Oh, okay, that's what the question is asking. Right, yeah, we don't know how many books he bought. Okay, can you find it out? What number sentence can we write? We can write a multiplication, right? Each book costs the same amount. We don't know how many books. This many books times five dollars each equals the total, 35. Okay, and now you should be able to solve it easily that it should be seven books. Here Andy earns five dollars each time he mows a lawn. He wants to buy some diving gear for 42 dollars. And how many loans does he need to mow to earn enough for that? He earns five dollars each time he mows a lawn. He wants to buy the diving gear for forty-two dollars. So you can guess, right? Guess and check. Let's say that he mows six lawns. Would that be enough? Six lawns times five dollars. No, that's not enough. Thirty. Any other guesses? How about eight? Eight times? Eight times five. Go eight times ten and half of that. Forty dollars. Is that enough? No, it's not. So, one more time. Nine times five. That should be enough. Nine times five. Forty-five dollars. Yeah, that will be enough. So, nine loans. Lastly, Puzzles! Matthew, are you ready? Sure, he's excited again. Can you solve this puzzle? What numbers go here? So that this times this equals 24. And then this number times this equals 12. And then here 48 and here 24. Now this is another puzzle, okay? Actually it's the same one as here because there are many different solutions. So while you're at it, try to find two different solutions to the same puzzle. Pause the video. And Matthew, you ready? What number will you start with? So many different possibilities. Six. Yeah, if you put six here, then you basically just figure out what goes elsewhere. How many times six makes 24? Then you have to put four here. And then six times what? makes 12. So you have to put 2 here. And then 4 times something makes 48. Or that something times 2 equals 24. So you have to put 12 there. Now, I'll show you another solution. And that is, let's say you start with 1 in the corner. Now, Matthew, go ahead, fill it in. 1 times 12 equals 12. Uh huh, yeah. 24 times 1 makes 24. And 24 times 2, right? And 2 times 12? Yeah, that fits too. And those two are not the only solutions either. There are still more. Maybe you can find all of them. We're all done with this lesson.